viewers thank you for tuning in i hope that you're well today i am going to be reviewing a fragrance from frederick Malley, and this one is called musk ravager so i'm gonna get straight into it um i'll discuss the notes i'll discuss my experience with it so far and um just everything else in between so stay tuned keep watching so musk ravager is from um frederick Malley. the nurse behind this is somebody called maurice Rochelle. I hope I said that right or Roussel. Uh, I, bet, <laughs> I think it's more the latter, it's Roussel. So today I've got um, just the sample here that I'm going to be reviewing today um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So the top notes in this include lavender, tangerine, bergamot. The heart notes include cinnamon and cloves and the base notes include vanilla, musk, tonka bin, amber, sandalwood, gatewood and cedar. I'm just gonna give this a quick spray um, on my wrist here. So this is a warm, spicy, amber fragrance. For me, um, the initial open is quite strong and this is one that can be quite deceiving because you can quickly sort of get nose blind to it. But then a few hours later, your nose sort of detects it again and um, you know you know that it's still, it's still there. So the performance is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, you definitely get the amber straight away in the opening and the musk as well. So I really enjoy it, um, those notes in this fragrance. The vanilla is also very, very present. I'd also describe this as quite addictive. And it's one that I find quite difficult to describe because it's sort of gourmet, dark, sexy, sweet all together. Um, I really, really enjoy this um, and I think this is one that um, I wouldn't recommend anyone to just go ahead and um, blind buy this. I think I would recommend definitely sampling this first before you go ahead and invest in a bottle. So this changes and it develops as time goes on. Um, so definitely give it a chance. Don't judge it straight away um, from just the first initial spray. Definitely wait for a dry down, wait a few hours and just kind of see how that performs on your um, on your skin. The opening is very strong and also quite powerful, but the dry down is definitely more friendlier, I find. Um, definitely more of the vanilla and sort of the warm, um, the warmness of it kind of comes out then. And also it gets a little bit more spicy as well as it dries down. I find that this is more about the experience, so try not to judge it straight away. I just find that it, it gets better and better as time passes during the day. Um, so definitely give it a chance, give it a go, you know, get yourself a small decant like this and just test it out yourself. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend um, blind buying this because this is more about a personal um, experience for everybody. I would say staying power of this is about maybe eight to nine hours, I'd say, uh, the first time that I tried it. And it's also definitely best for uh, sort of winter days, cooler days like we are um, now. This is completely unisex. I don't think Heliotrope was mentioned uh, as part of um, the notes, but I can definitely sense that from this um, scent. I definitely get that Heliotrope um, vibe from it so yeah that's just my personal experience let me know if you um have the same experience with it i really really love this one i really really enjoy it i think because it's got sort of like the amber the vanilla the tonka bean um which are one of my uh, some of my favorite notes um, and i think that this really really works well it's definitely a unique fragrance um i don't think i've smelled out of all the amber fragrances that I have, even Grand Soir by MFK, um, it smells nothing like this, but so I, I find this very, very unique. So I really enjoy this. Um, like I say, it's not for everybody, so feel free to try it. Um, but I personally, personally enjoy this. So well done, Maurice Roussel. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Uh, so yeah, this is one that I would definitely um, think about investing in a, in a full bottle. Um, so yeah, this is another one from Frederick Male. So feel free to give this a go. All in all, I would rate this maybe a nine out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10, it's very well done. Um, all the notes work really well together. So yeah, I am definitely a big fan of this. If you already own this, let me know how you feel about it. Uh, love or hate, leave all your comments down below. Um, and also if you're considering buying this, feel free. Um, I will leave some links down below as well for where you can purchase um, these fragrances and um, feel free to like, feel free to comment and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel 
so you can stay up to date with every um, fragrance review that I upload. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's a very short video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know how I feel about this. And so far, so good. So big thumbs up for it. So thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.